Okay guys, so over the years a lot of people have asked me what I use for keeping my knives, 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 knives really sharp and how I overall maintain the blades that I use and just how I keep everything ready to go in the field and at home. And I do want to specify in particular that this is an in-field and at home kind of setup is how I personally roll. So before we get into this, please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe so you can see more awesome content just like this. Now let's jump into it. <coughs> so starting off with the most basic of the two systems is my in the field system. Now personally, uh, and I know some people are like, oh you should carry this in your backpack, you shouldn't carry it in your PSK, but personally I like to carry it in my PSK and so my in field sharpening system <clears throat> is carried on body when I do carry the PSK. And it sits just right in here along with the other stuff and if you guys wanna see what all goes into this kit, you guys can check out my PSK video. But going into this uh, setup, it's really easy. The only thing I use is the spider code double stuff. And to basically explain it is it's double-sided ceramic. It's a double-sided piece of ceramic or two pieces of ceramic sandwiched together rather. And basically uh, you have your white side, which is a finer ceramic and you have your kind of brownish gray side which is a coarser ceramic. Now I hear a lot of people talk up the Fal Falkneven uh, DC4, which is a diamond ceramic stone, and a lot of people swear by that system. I personally like the uh, uh, double stuff by Spyderco because it's double ceramic, and one of the biggest issues with diamond is diamond loses its uh, diamonds, because basically how it works, it's kind of like a diamond plating or they, you know, kind of coat something with a diamond layer. And as you sharpen your knife more and more, it rubs that diamond layer off of the sharpener. Whereas <clears throat> with a ceramic bar, of course, the same kind of wearing action happens at a much slower pace. But because this is actually ceramic, it is always sharpening. So you never have to worry about your sharpener being less effective because ceramic is always going to be ceramic. So <clears throat> I like this system very well. It's very sturdy. These bars, because they're sandwiched together, make a very thick construction. So this isn't something that just like snaps in half. You know, these are very sturdy bars of ceramic and they sit nicely in a or not rubber uh, a leather sheath kind of system or a leather pouch which is also nice because then once you get your really sharp edge you know done you can take it and you can you know work it over this leather and you can use this leather as a strop so that's a really nice feature that you have with this setup is you kind of have your strop plus your two ceramic bars all in one. So that's another reason why I like this system more than the DC4. Um, <clears throat> it's also a little bit cheaper than the DC4, but actually a lot of people don't know about it. So let's hop over to my at-home system or my non-mobile system now. So guys, moving over to my at-home system, this is it in a way. So of course this is a this is basically the actual system. Of course there's actually a little bit for holding the blade and there's more of these little things uh, that come with this but this is actually a Viper Sharp and at first I wasn't exactly sure about the Viper Sharp but I got it and there's are there's a lot of negatives out there or negative reviews on the Viper Sharp but it goes back to a lot of people who don't really know Sorry, yawns, right? I'm tired. <laughs> but uh, a lot of people don't really know how to use this system properly. But to put it the best way, it does work really well for me. I get great results. I don't do a whole lot of sharpening. So, you know, I can't say, oh, you know, it just is the king of sharpening. It is a little bit slow and it can be a little bit of a finicky system but I personally do like the Viper Sharper, works well for me. Like I said, it is a consistent angle sharpener, so basically there's a little, you know, kind of clasp that sits right here. It's all, it comes in a little gun tote, like a handgun case, and that's where I keep all the stuff except this base and everything. Um, <clears throat> so that sits in there with all the different uh, ceramic uh, pieces 
So basically it comes with a whole bunch of ceramic bits that fit in here kind of like this. This is of course the leather strop one. But um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's basically what I use for the home. Now for me personally, what I did was I do not like these little Viper Sharp plastic um, bases. I think they're really too, they're too lightweight and they're too narrow. So it often falls over with that. So what I did was I just screwed it down into this piece of this small kind of hunk of 2x4 and it sits a lot better now because the 2x4 gives it a lot more weight and it gives it that sideways length that it needs. So now what I like about this is it's semi-portable. Obviously this isn't the type of system you take with a backpack, but it's semi-portable because now I can pick it up, I can take it where I need to, I can set it down and have it like that. I did not want to screw it into my bench because then it kind of sucks because it's like now okay now I have to go to my bench to sharpen. It's also nice because I can store this because it's so thin I can just slide this. I actually keep this under like a little table so I just slide this in there when I'm done and it hides away really well so it's not in my way. So yeah that's what I use. I use a Viper Sharp for the at home when I'm trying to get a really refined very clean edge. Plus the nice thing about the Viper Sharp is it has a whole bunch of different ceramic bits. So if I'm starting off with a really bad edge or if I just want to reprofile an edge, I can take it all the way down to like 80 grit and then just work it on up to a thousand and then <clears throat> I can work on stropping it. So that's what I use uh, in the future. Of course, I would like to go over to something a little bit uh, more heavy duty, something that would be great would be something like a, uh, <clears throat> a Wicked Edge or a Wicked Edge Go. Something like those two would be really awesome. But for now, I use the Viper Sharp and the Spyderco Double Stop. So anyways guys, hopefully that answers your questions. I know like I said, this has been a big uh, question I've been asked a lot of times over the years or many times over the years. So I just wanted to get around to answering that and hopefully this has been helpful. If you guys want to see anything on the Viper Sharp, please let me know. Uh, and same with the uh, Spider Co. Devil stuff, though it's pretty basic. It's just a rod, you hold it, and you know you can go back and forth and back and forth. So anyways, guys, that's all for now that I have to say on sharpening stuff. And as always, God bless, and I'm out.